was it working with main events and the Duvas? Because you were there when the legendary Lou Duva was around. How was it working with him? Like I said, um, it wasn't it wasn't really too much of a problem. I think um honestly, I think my dad and Lou had an argument way before we turned pro because I think the Duvas were really interested in, in signing me at the time. And my dad didn't didn't uh want to sign with him. My dad was the type of guy that once he give you his word it is what it is. And he had talked to my manager, Eddie Woods. I mean, Eddie Woods came to see me when I was like 13 years old. He always used to come to my mom and dad house, drink coffee, um, come to all my amateur fights here locally. Um, I think he even came to one uh, international fight that I had. Can't remember which one it was. So I guess him and my dad grew a bond. And he evidently, the bond was real tight with him and my dad. And my dad gave him his word. So. I guess when we decided to turn pro, he was the first guy that we went to, you know, to make the, the uh, decision to turn pro. And he, you know, he kept his word. He did what he had to do. I signed with him and a, a lady that you may not remember or you may know, but it was a lady named Kathy Nicolosi. She was the uh, the founder of Mother's Ke Cheesecake Factory in Burlington, New Jersey. Big company. It was like worth two or three million dollars at the time. Um, she signed on with my manager and they both signed me. And um, we was just with main events far as promotional wise. Um, far as management wise, nah. But manage, I mean, promotional wise, they did me well, man. We fought on Evander Holyfield card. They sent me to camp with Pernell Whitaker a couple times. Um, I was even in camp, it was funny. I was even in camp with uh, Arturo Gotti but we never sparred, but whoever figured that me and him was going to fight each other? I didn't. Yeah, whoever thought I didn't, you know. So, you know, Main Events was a great, powerful company. I think they still are. They still in the business, not as heavy, but they still around. So um, I, I have nothing bad to say about Main Events, nothing. How was Lou Duva as a trainer? Uh, <laughs> and, you know, that's kind of crazy because... Um, I never was asked that, so I never really had to give my opinion on it. But you asking me and me being a straight up guy, I'm always going to give my opinion. Even though everybody is entitled to their own opinion, you don't have to like it if you don't want to. But Main Events was a powerful company. But when you talked about training, Georgie Benton was, was the man. He was the best. I mean, he I mean he did all. Look, he had, even though Lou Duva was with him, you had Lou Duva, you had Georgie Benton, you had... Uh, Ronnie Shields, you know, all those, even though all those guys came later, but the headstone of it all was Georgie Bent, man. He had my man Meldrick Teller, had Mark Breeland, he had Evander the Holy Phil. Look, all those guys are champions. So you know, the the uh, the portray of it is is a great is a great communication of a company that runs well. They're powerful. Um, Far as right now, I, I don't really know where they stand with a lot of the uh, trainers because I don't owe oh, and I can't forget Mr. Tommy Brooks because he trained me too. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they have a powerful organization. It's a great team. I love them, man. I mean, I wasn't that close with them like Gaddy because Gaddy was their boy. But, you know, they were still powerful.